Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will look at longest binary subsequence less than or equals 2k which is from lead code number 2311. Let's now read the problem statement. You are given a binary string s and a positive integer k. Return the length of the longest subsequence of s that makes up a binary number less than or equals to k. We should note that the subsequence can contain leading zeros. That means zeros can be present to the left of the most significant set bit and these are called leading zeros and they will not contribute to any weight to the final number. The empty string is considered to be equals to zero and a subsequence is a string that can be derived from another string by deleting some or no characters without changing the order of the remaining characters. Now let's look at some examples. Now if you look at example number one, we have string 1001010 and the k value is 5 that means i want to form a number which is less than equals to this given value k so you should consider the weights this is 2 to the power 0 weight to 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 16 32 and 64 if you consider the weights then we can re uh, remove exactly two bits here in order to get a number with three leading zeros and then one zero where this will be weighted and the three leading zeros will not have any weight and this will be producing a number 2 which is less than equals to k where k value was 5 right so the length of this string is equals to 5 and that is why the answer is 5 right if you look at the second example with the k value being 1 we can remove these two set bits and we can get 1 2 3 4 5 5 leading zeros and then a 1 where this is producing a number 1 in decimal number system which is less than equals to the value k which is 1. So the length of it is 6 and that is why the answer is 6 here. In this case the length of the string can be maximum 1000. So even if you are going to write an n square algorithm which is 10 to the power of 6 it which is less than 10 to the power of 8 it, it will still pass. But we will look at the most optimal algorithm using the greedy technique. You should also see that k value is always less than equals to 10 to the power of 9 and how many bits are there in 10 to the power of 9 it is 31 bits maximum okay because you can always do log of 10 to the power 9 base 2 to count the number of bits isn't it and you know that in a 32 bit number system you get the integer maximum integer maximum which is around 2 times of 10 to the power of 9 okay 2 times of 10 to the power of 9 so this is how we know what will be the value of k right once you have known this then let's look at some of the observations in this case if you look at example number one then you have double zero one zero one if you consider the k value to be one then do we need to remove any bits well the value here according to the weight is two to the power two plus two to the power zero that means it will be 4 plus 1 it will be 5 so the value here is 5 yes since 5 is greater than k I need to remove some bits and which bit to be removed well it is always optimal to remove the most significant bit most significant set bit okay so we will try to remove the set bits only on the most significant side and see if after removing such set bit will our value be less than equals to k or not because because uh, removing from right to left does not make sense because we are retaining the most significant set bit so the value decrement will not be optimal my goal is to maximize the length of the string as well so i will be trying to remove a bit remove a bit which will reduce reduce the value by maximum reduce the value by max max amount isn't it so removing which bit will remove the value or maybe decrease the value by max amount it will be the most significant set bit right so it makes sense that you re you remove this uh, second position bit and not remove anything else so if you remove second position bit the number becomes triple zero one so if you get triple zero one then uh, is this number less than equals to k yes and what is the length of it it is 4 so the answer will be 4 in this case right on the same example if the k value given was 2 then what would happen if k value was 2 still the number was 5 which is greater than uh, the k value so i'll be removing the second bit position 
and so the number will be triple zero one which is less than k so yes the length is four so the answer will be four in such case if the k value was five then in such case the value is already equals to five so i don't need to remove anything and so the length will be equals to five okay if the k value was let's say equals to seven then in such case since the value is already five which is less than the k value i don't need to remove anything and the and the answer will be five in this case right so i hope you have understood that why we are trying to reduce from left to right not from right to left because that will give me the maximal reduction in value by removing the minimum number of bits that should be my goal okay so delete the ones only from the most significant set bit side only from the most significant side okay that that means from left to right now the second thing is to consider is you you should never touch the zero because that does not make sense if you just remove a one then the zero to the right hand side of the most significant set bit becomes a leading zero and you know that leading zero will not have any weight and that is why uh, the number that you get will always be having the longest length with the minimum possible value if you just remove the set bits from the most significant side because we are producing leading zeros in 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 that case if you look at the second example we have one double zero one triple zero one okay in this case considering the k value to be 10 is this value greater than 10 yes it is 1 plus 16 17 plus 128 which is absolutely greater than 10 so if you move from left to right i will remove the most significant set bit and i will get double zero one triple zero one what is the value it is 17 still it is uh, greater than k again i will see moving from left to right which one is a set bit it is at position three okay if i count the position from left to right so remove this bit as well and then what will be the value double zero triple zero one so this double zero triple zero becomes leading zeros so they will not contribute to any weight and the least significant set bit will be producing number one and the length is two plus three five plus one six so the answer is six because this value is only one which is less than equals to k okay if you look at the third example again for the k value 10 what is the weight here it is 32 plus 64 so for 10 i will be removing this first bit moving from left to right and still the value is 32 again i will remove the second set bit and now the value becomes zero what is the length one plus this is five length so all of them are leading zero so the length is six if you look at the next example here the k value is 10 so the weight is one two four uh, then eight and so on right so i will be removing all these bits definitely this four bits and still the value will be greater than 10 so i'll be removing this bit as well and here the value now becomes less than equals to 10 so the length is 3 and then and, and therefore the answer is 3 in, in such case so if i just summarize our technique then we should never delete any zeros never ever delete any zeros and we should delete the ones only from the most significant side that means from left to right okay and from the problem constraint we also know that since the k value is less than equals to 10 to the power of 9 in the worst case scenario if you get a 1000 length string then definitely only from the least significant side 31 bits will be untouched in the worst case scenario and if you have any of the set bits on the left hand side that will absolutely be removed without any question okay without any question so this is very important point that k being less than equals to 10 to the power of 9 means you should never have a set bit to the left of 31 bits and if the s dot length is more than 31 bits then i will always be uh, skipping the set bits only in the 31 bit side because i will just be operating on this size 31 bits maximum and on the left if i have any set bit i will always be removing it because these weights will be much higher uh, than 10 to the power of 9 even if you have a set bit to the left of 31 bits it will always exceed the k value okay so you should remember that now having understood this how to solve this problem we will apply the greedy technique and our step one will be to skip all the least significant bits until the value exceeds the k value how to do that i will consider a value which will be zero and i will be parsing from right to left and if there is a zero i will not do anything but if there is a one i will see what is the position 
so it is at second weight position right i mean you can say it is 0 1 2 and so on so i'm just adding the weight so the weight will be 2 to the power of 1 which will be 2 in this case so i will be adding 2 to the value it becomes 2 is this 2 uh, greater than k no so i will not remove this i'll move to the left again i'll see that it is a set bit so add 4 to it and this becomes 6 again it is less than equals to k so don't do anything skip the zeros and when you reach to 1 then again the weight is 32 here which you can find by 2 to the power of given position right so 32 will be added and this becomes uh, becomes 38 right 38 so 38 is again less than 56 skip the zeros if you have a 1 if you add 128 to it definitely this is going to be uh, giving a value which is greater than 56 right so as soon as you find such position you stop you stop and all these bits will be remaining intact as it is and from here move to the left hand side in step 2 and remove all the set bits so remove this set bit keep moving to the left skip the zeros remove this set bit remove this set bit and skip the zeros so whatever string you produce at the end you will be uh, counting the number of set bits that you removed so i will have a remove counter which will be counting how many set bits did you remove i removed three set bits right what was the initial length the initial length was equals to 13 so what will be my uh, final maximum string length after removing the set bits that will be equals to n minus the remove count which is 13 minus 3 it is going to be 10 therefore 10 is the answer in in this case right so this is how we can simply apply the greedy technique we are parsing through the entire string exactly one time therefore the time complexity is order of n and we are not taking any extra space so that is making the space complexity order of one i hope it is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the string and the k value as you know that the step one is to keep all the set bits until the value exceeds k so we will be moving from right to left and you also know that the maximum number of set bits that i can actually skip or maximum number of bits that i can skip is either n or something less than equals to 31 or you can say less than 32 because after 32 bits if you have a set bit then that will give you a number which is greater than 2 to the power of 31 which will be greater than 10 to the power of 9 and since k value is always less than equals to 10 to the power of 9 you can never have a set bit to the left of 31 bits right so that is why i have written i less than minimum of n comma 32 because n is the length of the string and it can be less than 32 or it can be greater than 32 as well because n is less than equals to 1000 and greater than equals to 1 right so considering all these things uh, we have to parse from right to left and uh, if you see a zero then you don't do anything you you just skip and if you see a one then i will be adding its weight i will be calculating the weight by doing two to the power of position which is two to the power of i and i will be adding this to the value if the value exceeds k then i will be breaking that means now i will be at a position from where i will have to remove all the set bits okay and if it does not exceed i will be adding to the value and i will be skipping the position pointer step two was to count the removed bits and uh, i will be counting the remove uh, removed bit count so simply start from the same position so you see that the i is not changing it was assigned zero and it will start where we have stopped in the first while loop right and from there if i see a set bit i will be incrementing the remove counter and that's it we will not be using any kind of substring function okay and i will be going to the left hand side so at the end i will be uh, sending the initial size of the string minus the number of set bits that we have removed okay and that will be the final answer so this is the entire approach and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you